Hi, I'm Jeff Watts and welcome to a new light bulb talk. This one is about the psychopath approach. Have you ever tried to make yourself be creative? Coming up with a new idea when you want to come up with one is ridiculously and frustratingly hard, right? Those good ideas only really tend to come when you least expect them. For me, that's when I'm in the shower or trying to go to sleep or on holiday. And that's all well and good, but sometimes we need to get creative at work. And while I know some of you probably have a shower or a snooze pod in the office, but that's not always possible. Now, in those situations, there are loads of techniques you can use to increase your creativity. But there's one technique that, for me, works more than most. And, to be honest, it's probably the most fun. And it's called the psychopath approach. See, already your curiosity is peaked, right? Ooh, the psychopath approach. Already you're probably conjuring images of Hannibal Lecter, Patrick Bateman, I don't know, Cersei Lannister, Dr. Evil, Sideshow Bob, or the Joker. As humans, we tend to have a grim curiosity with this genre, and we can use that to our advantage. And the best part? It's simple. All you need to do is ask yourself, what would the Joker do? Or how would Hannibal Lecter respond? Effectively, you're looking at how to make the current situation worse, or how you can sabotage things, or, and just whisper this, how can we make it evil? The strange truth is that we tend to find it much easier to think of how things can go wrong, or how to make things worse. And so, when we allow ourselves the abstraction of positioning these thoughts from the minds of a fictional third person, we're much freer to engage our inner psycho. And we've all got one. So, your next question is probably, yeah, but Jeff, how is getting evil and wrecking the idea going to make it better? Well, firstly, if nothing else, you can start figuring out how to avoid this sabotage or the evil that you've come up with from manifesting in the first place. A bit of risk mitigation. Secondly, there might be a positive twist to the psycho tendencies. For example, imagine how the Joker might take great joy in replacing your shopping cart with a big red smile across the screen. And when you imagine that, first of all, you could conjure up ideas of how you could, first of all, increase your security against hackers. But then you might also start thinking of ways that you could make your customers smile more when they're adding items to their cart. And then there's just the fact that opening up your creative channels in any way, even in a negative way, will allow other creative thoughts to bubble up more easily. So, if you're looking for a bit of a creative kick, then why not give yourself license to engage your inner psychopath? You might just enjoy it. Let's just hope you don't enjoy it too much. <laughs>